Good evening everybody and welcome to another episode of China How It Is. Today our topic is going to be, or I should say this evening, our topic is going to be laundromats or perhaps a lack thereof. First of all, um, I'm in an urban village. Um, for those of you who are wondering where I am, I am in a place where I used to, actually used to live when I first came to Shenzhen, when I ran out of money and ended up uh, on the streets, basically. I was living just around the corner from here in an apartment very similar to the sort of apartments that you're seeing around here. You know, this handshake apartments where they're, they're, they're really close to each other. They're called handshake apartments because you can literally, you know, shake the hand of the person next to, next to you. Anyway, um, this is Xiaxia uh, Tun, or Under Sand Village, and uh, it's um, referring to the Sand River. Anyway, uh, there's some interesting things to see around here. This used to be the one of the big red light districts of Shenzhen. Not anymore. It's cleaned up, um, but it's still a vibey, interesting place. Anyway, why would I be talking about laundromats? That's an interesting uh, question. Well, let me tell you how it all started. Um, hang on a second. A little wet market here. Okay. A subscriber of mine, uh, a subscriber of mine bought me a beer a while ago, you know, through my Facebook thing. So I sent him a, a thank you email and gave him all my contact details in case he was ever in, in China and uh, he just recently got to China and he uh, sent me some messages on Weixin let me actually pull that out for you um, you guys can just like take a look around in the meantime while I, I look that up see some of the interesting hang on get this set up properly you can see some of the interesting things going on in this area Okay, let's see. Where is this guy? Okay, found it. Give me a second. Alright, so what he writes here is, uh, Hey Winston, do you know of any laundromats in Shenzhen? Spent the last two days looking for one, must have asked 20 plus people and walked around to 20 plus locations on maps just to find dry cleaners. Uh, okay, so uh, my reply to him was, no, there are none, just use a dry cleaner. Let's see which is more down there and down here. I think I'll, I'll just go down here. Okay, um, tell you the, the basically the gist of the situation. There are no laundromats in China. Um, if you look around me, this is the kind of normal thing we've got. What have we got? Like a general goods store, little open air butchery. I don't know, sort of wet market stuff. Got some seafood over here. <laughs> okay, lots of seafood. Um, what else? A little like phone shop and hardware store. Um, it's a little clinic for was well, a dentist. Um, yeah, more meat. This just a market area. Um, <clears throat> Basically, you will never find a laundromat because they don't exist. What you will find, of course, are dry cleaners. Let's see if I can find one around here. But, um, you know, dry cleaners, they're, they're okay. They're, they're well priced, but, you know, uh, they do usually charge per item. Ah, look, there we have a dry cleaner. Okay. Now, it's actually very easy to spot a dry cleaner. Sorry. See over there? Gan Shi Zhongxin. 
what I okay, that's interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the characters for dry cleaner over here. So all you need to do is um, look out for these two characters, and then you know that it's a dry cleaner. It's really easy for you to then uh, go there, and you just basically put your clothes down on the counter, and they'll they do one or two things. They're either going to charge you per item, which can be expensive because they'll charge you like for a pair of socks and they'll charge you for a t-shirt and they'll charge you for a whatever or they charge you by weight they'll weigh it and then uh, charge you it's, it's actually not really that expensive but it's a lot more expensive than uh, getting it washed let's just put it that way so um, that's the first thing you can do of course is go to a dry cleaner to get your clothes washed but of course there's one thing um, you cannot get your underwear uh, you know bras underwear that kind of thing you cannot get them washed they will not wash those for you so um, that's something you're gonna have to wash yourself but what can you do if you don't have a washing machine if you are um, staying at a hotel here uh, good hotels will usually have a dry cleaning service built in but those are really expensive so I don't uh, suggest that what I do suggest is um, uh, basically, oh, it's a nice little fruit shop over here. That's cool. Fresh fruit and veg. Um, I don't suggest uh, using the expensive dry cleaners. I suggest uh, going into your local supermarket and buying yourself some special soap. Okay. Um, what kind of soap would that be? Well, I've gone and I've bought some for all of you guys to see. It's in, it's in my car, so uh, when I get back there, I'll, I'll show you all. But um, <clears throat> if you don't have a washing machine, you do what everyone else does, and that is you wash your clothes by hand. Wash them in the shower, wash them in the bathroom sink. And you can get a special kind of a soap that's meant just for washing clothes. That's what I did when I first came here. Wash your clothes by yourself, and then um, hang them up on your balcony or hang them up in the bathroom or whatever to dry. That's usually the way to do it. A tea shop, hairdresser, little electronic store. Oh, I recognize this place. It's been a while. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, it's very, very straightforward. You're gonna have to do your own washing. Okay. <laughs> Dentists. Medicinal tea, I can smell that. A uh, little, see a little clinic, uh, sorry, a uh, pharmacy. Okay, cool. It's been ages since I've been here. It hasn't actually changed much. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what you do. And that's what I advised this guy to do. So what he did was he went and bought uh, a little tub from the Walmart, bought some of that soap and uh, did all his laundry by hand. I've got another little interesting story all about uh, you know the whole foreigners coming here and not being able to wash their clothes thing but let's just look around here it's interesting give you a look so this is an urban village and it really wakes up at night like I said this used to be a big red light district uh, now that stuff still goes on but not that much bakeries now it's just a cool vibey place to hang around at night and uh, go get something to eat get a haircut do some shopping city miss food stalls, try not to get run over by the e-bikes. Hmm. Huh. Forever dragon wedding photography, that's interesting. So, you're saying that you, you're forever getting married to a dragon? Anyway. Nice.
That's got to be such a crappy job. Wei Lung, Guo Yun. Okay. This place brings back a lot of memories. Mm, nice. Anyway, I used to knock about this area a lot back in the day. I feel like I should sit down and have a beer. But I shouldn't because I'm driving. What a pain in the ass. Yeah. <clears throat> right guys, cheers. So Ah, thanks to the Heineken, by the way, you know who you are. Mm. So I was telling you about this kind of soap that you can buy here in order to do your uh, washing up. So, one second and it shall magically appear. Here we are. <laughs> mm. Now, um, how do you know that this is the kind of soap to wash clothes? It's quite simple. In China, people don't usually use bricks of soap to wash themselves. Usually they use body lotion or what's that, mm, shower gel, you know, liquid soap in order to wash themselves in the shower. Um, so if you find a brick of soap, it's probably for washing clothes. Now, if you want to verify, you can actually look on the side of this uh, bar of soap over here. It's got a picture of a shirt uh, and some towels. And that's how you know it's for washing clothes, obviously, because it's got a picture of a shirt. Okay, so, cool. Let's try this again. Okay, so, sorry, um, battery. I'm gonna explain to you what these mean. This one means it's very powerful, good at cleaning tough stains and stuff. This one means it's lemon scented. This says gentle on the hands, and this here means that you can use it for a very long time. So in other words, this, this bar of soap is gonna last you a long time. So all you do is you take clothes like your t-shirt or whatever with this in your bathroom sink or kitchen sink or in the shower while you're taking a shower and you just you know wash it as you normally would of course then you have to rinse it and wring out all the water and then just hang it up to dry uh, when I first got here I used to just hang it up over the, over the shower um, rail leave it there to get dry or on the balcony if you've got one just get some hangers that's quite quite normal over here so if you're here on a holiday staying in a little hotel or whatever and there's no washing machine available this is your answer and remember to always wash your own underwear and wash your own bras and your own things like that because the, the dry cleaners won't do that and uh, the other people usually be too embarrassed to do that for you anyway until next time guys stay awesome Okay, so here's a little little story just to demonstrate again the, the lack of uh, laundromats. I train doctors and um, I train them before they go over to places like Australia or Germany to do little internships, you know, little... Um, they go to learn about how, how overseas hospitals work, etc. Anyway, so this friend of mine who I trained came uh, well went to Australia met the professors in Australia and uh, when the the Australian professors came to China to come and visit they also had a problem they couldn't wash they couldn't get any of their clothes washed so they were asking around how can they get their clothes washed I asked my friend and uh, she said she could take them to the dry cleaner or you know do something like that for them so they came and gave her a load of washing but it included all of their underwear and of course it's too embarrassing and no one no one can actually no one will wash that stuff so um, this friend of mine actually ended up just doing all the washing at their own apartment in their own washing machine and then giving it back to the professors afterwards so basically um, you you cannot get your underwear washed remember that so just be prepared to wash your own underwear uh, you can get pretty much everything 
cleaned it at dry cleaners, but it can turn out to be very expensive. So, honest advice, um, just do your own washing, uh, hand washing, and um, you know, if you're staying here long term, of course, you'll probably have a bloody washing machine in your apartment, or you, you know, find a friend here who has one that you can go and use if you really have to. Uh, yeah, and just dry your clothes on your balcony. Anyway, uh, where am I now? Oh, 